Hey guys, um, I'm back in YouTube again. Uh, things were a little bit hectic because I was doing finals and things, and now I'm home, which is great, and I'm able to film outside in the nice sunny weather, which is also great. Um, and today, I wanted to tell you about my new series that I'm doing, and it is... Disney princess makeup looks. I love Disney movies, and I especially love Disney princess movies. Um, I just love everything about them, from the romantic tales to the fun music and all of that, and I just love Disney movies and Disney princess movies. So I decided to do a makeup look for each of the Disney princesses, um, and maybe I'll go on from that, but first I'm going to start with the princesses. And so this video is the first video in that series, and I don't know if you can tell, but this makeup look is Ariel. I have that like patch of sunlight, so I'm going to move the camera. So this is Ariel, and it has just a nice purple upper lid and a teal lower lid, and I love it. I think it's really simple and fun, and it's not like too overwhelming. Um, so if you want to see how to do this makeup look, which is Ariel from The Little Mermaid, then just keep watching. First of all, I'm going to take my Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. It's in the color 1.1, and um, so you've usually used, uh, seen me use a stippling brush to put on my foundation. I need to clean it so it's out of commission right now. So instead I'm going to be using this flat foundation brush by Eco Tools, and I'm just going to put it on my finger, and um, just put it all over my face, and then blend it in. Ariel, listen to me. The human world, it's a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. The seaweed is always greener. In somebody else's lake, you dream about going up. So I bought the Benefit Eye Bright, and it just looks like this. And it's this pink pencil. And what I do is I just go along where my under eye circles are problematic. And I do this. And I do it on the other eye. And then I just kind of pat it in, blend it out a little bit. It's okay if it still is obvious that it's there because that's not the only thing I'm going to be doing. And then I also got Bare Minerals Stroke of Light which is an eye brightener and it's in the lightest color they have. Um, uh, Luminous One is the color it's in and it just is a sponge tip applicator and what I do is I just um, go under my eye and then I kind of drag it down into this little triangle and I do it on the other eye. As you can see it looks really awesome. And then I just kind of blend that in. And not only does it brighten up my under eye circles but it kind of highlights that area of my eye as well. And you bring it up a little bit. Just kind of pat that in. And now, what I'm going to do is use my Revlon Color Stay Aqua Loose Powder in the color um, Light Fair. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush, mine's by Essence of Beauty, just take a little bit and dot it on the cheeks and blend it in. For my eyes, I'm going to be going into my BH Cosmetics. 120 color palette because today I'm going to be doing Ariel and so I need some nice purples and teals. Before I even do that I have to prime my eyelids for the eyeshadow so I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics palette and I am going to open it up and the first thing we're going to do is use a purple color because purple matches Ariel's seashell bra color. And so we want a light lilac -y. We want a light li lilac -y lavender color. And so if you take one of the two 
palettes. You can see there's a bunch of like purples and pinks in this one. And we are going to go in with this nice lavender lilac color. And I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm just going to pack it on and just apply it to my upper lid. Yeah, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more did you look So now we have this nice purple on our eyes. And to just deepen up the color a little bit, make it a little bit, you know, have more depth to it. I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker purple and kind of add that up. Um, I'm going to add that to the outside of the eye. And so I'm just going to take this color, which is just two colors down. And so this was our original color, and then this is the next color. And I'm just going to put that on the outside and kind of work it into the crease a little bit. This would be a good time to use a fluffy shader brush, like a domed one, um, but I don't actually have one, so. So you just kind of put it on the outside and then just work it into the crease a little bit. In order to add a little bit more of like a bright look and um, a more princessy look, I guess, I'm going to go in with some bright, um, some sparkly white, and I'm just going to put that in the inner corner of my eye, and it will brighten it up a lot more. No! Okay, don't go anywhere. Sorry, the wind started to blow. So... So now I'm done with the purple, and I'm going to go and take a little brush, one that looks kind of like this. It's a flat brush, it's pointy, and I'm going to go in and add the teal, and add teal, which is the color of Ariel's um, tail fin. So as you can see, the BH Cosmetics palette offers a bunch of different kinds of teals along the bottom here, and I'm going to go for this one, which is not as light as say this one but not as dark as this one so I'll just take this and I'll just get it on the tip of your brush because we're going to apply this to the lower lash line and just kind of blend that in and it might take a few times to really build up the color I'm not going to add any eyeliner but I'm going to go in with mascara so I can get like a kind of doughy look with the eyes and I'm going to be using the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which I also got in my little mini Ulta haul. And I've been trying it out, and it's okay. It's kind of clumpy, but um, I like it okay. And I'm just going to apply that. This is the finished look. It's just this nice purple and teal eye with just a simple face and a simple blush. And it helps that I have long hair because, you know, I think mermaids have long hair too. Um, but yeah, so this is Ariel. And um, feel free to comment below and tell me what you think of my new series and what you think of the Ariel look, if I did her justice. I know I don't have the bright red hair, um, but feel free to tell me what you think. and if you think that I should continue this or not. And besides that, I look forward to seeing you in my next video, which will be very soon because I'm actually about to film it. But yeah. So thanks. See you soon. Bye.